Hey guys, welcome back to my page. Thank you so much for being here today. I am just going to do a spontaneous get ready with me video. This is not the type of content that I normally do. I actually had it requested for me to do this type of content. And the only reason I feel right now to do it is because I've had to become more creative with my content since being a mom and my schedule just looking very differently. So I basically, We'll just show you my routine to basically, I said basically so many times, to hopefully allow you to get some sort of little tip out of here that could help you maybe as a busy mom as well. So let's get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest, most of my skincare routine, it's very, very basic, very simple, and I'm not gonna recommend products that I don't super highly recommend. What I will say, is that I have swapped out as many products as I can for them to be clean, non-toxic, and non-hormone disrupting. I just use Burt's Bees currently as face wash. I really like it, but it's not that it's the number one thing I recommend. It's just the idea of finding brands that you like that are non-toxic, non-hormone disrupting. I still always use this by The Ordinary, the hyaluronic acid. I believe from what I'm aware of, I don't think that this is toxic or hormone disrupting, but somebody who knows better could let me know. But from what I looked up, this is very clean. This is always my go-to. But here is the main thing that I use. And this depends on your skin type. I have very dry skin or I have like dry combination skin. And this has been the number one thing that I have been doing that I get actually a lot of compliments on. So this is why I'm gonna share this. I just order any 100% pure almond oil off of Amazon. I like the ones with a pump. And I use almond oil to put on Gabriel when he comes out of the bath. I put it in my hair, depending, like not in the roots, but I put it in my hair a little bit. I use it as, so I come out of the shower and I'm still in the shower, dry myself off, and I put almond oil all over myself. Um, and it's just a really great moisturizer. I wanted to find some sort of like in-shower moisturizer. And um, the brands that I saw were so expensive. And so I just get this, I think it was like $12. But I also put this on my face as well. And I feel like this makes my skin very like glowy and I, actually get a lot of compliments on it now you might not be able to notice in um this lighting but i find it very helpful i don't know how to say this gua sha i don't know i do use this tool or i just use my fingers um i am susceptible to getting a very puffy face especially because i'm not exercising right now and cortisol is crazy and all the things i'm recovering from adrenal fatigue i've been using an ice roller on my face for probably the last five years because I've noticed when I wake up, it's very puffy. So I use my, my ice roller now it's, and the last thing is, I think from what I'm aware, I think that this is good. CeraVe, this is moisturizing cream for, for dry to very dry skin. I really, really like this. And this is, I think it's not just for face. I think you can use it for your body as well but I think it's primarily for face. So I just put this on over top. So basically what I have found, oh, and then I use Burt's Bees. This is like intensive lip, overnight intensive lip treatment. I used to use Laneige all the time and I just wanted to find something that was cleaner than that. So that's basically what I'm trying to do. If I do use a toner, which I'm going to stop using because you can just use cold water, I'm pretty sure, to close your pores. So I'm gonna stop spending money on toners probably. This is like Andalo, Andalou, they sell it at Whole Foods. But anyways, just trying to make oh, everything non-hormone disrupting and not toxic. Sorry, this looks gross. This is my deodorant by Schmidt. Lavender and Sage, I think this is quite clean. It's no artificial fragrance, no aluminum, salts, parabens, etc. Oh, and then lastly, the hand cream that I've been using is by Burt's Bees. It actually smells really good. It's almond and milk hand cream. So again, I'm just trying to swap everything out to just be clean, clean, clean. A lot of moisturizing going on here and things like that. Okay, so I'm gonna do my simple clean-ish makeup routine. So first of all, this is very necessary. The Super Goop 
glow screen and it is a little bit pricey it is clean this is i feel what makes what makes the makeup routine to be honest and if if i don't put on anything else this is it any other makeup this would be it and obviously like the more you use the more glowy that you're gonna be i don't even know if the camera is going to pick this up i guess we'll see because i'm using my iphone so hopefully it does but i just feel like this makes a massive difference in my skin and i personally like glowy here's one thing that i will say i know that not everybody likes glowy i know that people who have maybe oilier skin are like i'm gonna stay away from all of these products it's not happening. I understand for breakout purposes and things like that, which I don't find with these products, but something I will say is that I think as we age, it looks better to not have makeup on and instead to have super moisturizing, glowy creams and like um, sunscreen. This is a sunscreen because I actually think it makes your skin look more healthy and rejuvenated and I just think it looks nicer. And I've just noticed that from people that I've seen in their 50s, 60s, like I don't know, I've just seen and if they're wearing super moisturizing things, I'm like, whoa, their skin looks really nice. And sometimes I think that the makeup, it just kind of sits in the creases and the pores and that's why it, it can make us actually look older. There's this lady that works for Beauty Counter. I didn't know she worked for Beauty Counter. I just met her. She's a, kind of a friend through Autumn. And I was like, you have such nice skin. And she, she was just wearing, she wasn't wearing any makeup. Anyways, so now, um, this is not a clean product. This is just an old, it's Laura Mercier. This is just a concealer, but I'm going to switch a to a new concealer once this runs out. So in terms of like swapping everything over for clean beauty and clean products, because it's very overwhelming, I just wait until a product runs out. Problem with me is that it takes me like six years to run out of a makeup product because I don't wear makeup that often, but I am planning on swapping it out. There's this brand, I'm saying it wrong, Ilia, Ilia, I don't know, but this brand is a clean brand interesting fact when i went to sephora the other day they told me the person who created this is originally from north vancouver so but they launched in la anyway so i thought that was very cool but i'm planning on switching a lot of my products over to this brand but in the meantime something going on here and then i just put the tiniest bit here and in here I have a lot of broken capillaries in the sides of my nose from squeezing blackheads when I was like 13 or something. Didn't know not to do that. So caused some seemingly permanent damage. That's okay. Basically what I would say, and this is my preference. This is how I like it, but it's up to you what you like. I'm personally not a fan of the kind of makeup that is done in North America, generally, the very like caked on, matte, can't see your skin texture kind of makeup. Not personally a fan. For myself, I really like like foundations and makeup that show the texture of your skin and same with concealers. So this one's pretty good, but I am going to swap it out, like I said, for the other brand because of cleanness and I want something that's like I don't want that kind of coverage. I still want it to look like my face and my skin. And I feel like I learned about this makeup in the modeling industry because it was always the no makeup makeup that they would do on you. And it was like natural brows and like you can see the texture of your skin. So I liked that. Now for my eyebrows. So I naturally have very full eyebrows. However, since I was 10 years old, I started getting my eyebrows waxed to the thinnest like nothing and i waxed them like that or at least quite thin from when i was 10 until i was 26. so that's a long time it's a miracle that they grew back they didn't fully grow back as you can see here there is gaps underneath here and there is gaps underneath here so i have to fill this in because my eyebrows are missing in those areas however one thing i quickly want to say here that i recommend is there's something called, it's not microblading. Okay, I need to find the proper name. If you type in like nano, I think it's called like nano brows. I learned about this from Sarah Therese because I saw she had a reel on this on Instagram and she got her 
eyebrows like nano nano brows i don't know the exact word but nano and it's less painful more natural looking fluffier eyebrows um also the lady that i'm planning on going to she said that there's no cuts like she doesn't cause cuts in your skin and um you don't have like scabs or bleeding or anything like that which apparently with microblading there's more of that it looks less natural so i plan to get this done i think it's around 600 dollars. but to me it is an investment that is worth it to me because i absolutely cannot stand filling in my eyebrows but i also look strange i mean you can't see it as much but in person it just looks weird walking around with half filled in eyebrows and i don't want to fill them in anymore as a busy mom i want to wake up in the morning put this on, put my almond oil on, put this on, if nothing else, and leave the house because I'm done. But because I'm already going in, doing my eyebrows, then I'm like, well, I may as well do some more, you know? So anyways, I'm gonna fill my eyebrows in now. I am basically trying my best to make them look as natural as possible, but I'm just using this Annabelle like brow pencil. And now on to the next brow. I just find it so hard to do this and to like I just find it annoying personally and I don't have time to be looking in the mirror doing my eyebrows like this I don't prefer to do this so that's my personal recommendation as a busy mom if you are missing your eyebrows to me this sounds like a good option though I haven't done it myself yet and then I don't normally do this but for the sake of the video anyways let's just say no I'm gonna show you what I actually do every day then I just put this on and then we're done. That's it. A Fine Romance Multi Stick. I used to use a different one, but anyways, I'll just do this one. So I put some on my lips. I'm just gonna use this as the mirror. Continue to put this on my lips. And then I do a smile, put this on my cheeks, and then I bring it up a little bit. I will blend this, so don't be afraid. Sometimes I won't wear this at all. It depends on the day. Like I said, if I had my eyebrows like done, just like naturally filled in, I probably wouldn't spend any time doing this, like only when I wanna actually have my makeup done. And then I just use my fingers to blend it in, kind of like go over top of it, but mostly over the sides of it. And so that's that. And then I take a setting spray, which again, I'm almost out of this one. So I'm gonna be switching to a clean one, which again, I'm probably gonna find from this brand. If you have any brands that you recommend that are clean, healthy, non-hormone disrupting, that are inexpensive, that or just that you recommend, then definitely leave them below. But I'll just put that on. And I'm not gonna do mascara. I have dark eyelashes. I bought one of those kits that you could like perm. I have very dark, long, straight eyelashes. They're straight. I bought one of those kits where you can like perm your eyelashes at home but it wasn't working and i do like that because then i feel like you just don't have to do mascara i haven't looked into the products i guess they don't touch your skin that much so maybe it's not that bad for you but anyways that is the my general you can see it better here generally what i do for uh, makeup each day unless i want to go like all out and then i'll do a different makeup routine which probably i'll do for another day all right now for jewelry Put the same jewelry on every day i like them because they're like asymmetrical they're not just like a regular hoop earrings so i like those i do have a double piercing that i like to wear earring earrings in but just the reality of time's sake i have the band on this hand but i kind of wanted to make it more interesting got a little bit tired of how it looked so I just got a band off of Etsy it was really inexpensive but it hasn't tarnished at all and it's from actually a Christian company I didn't know it was Christian until I ordered from them they had a little like John I think it's a John 316 on one of their cards or something and I was like oh whoa that's pretty cool and then just another plain ring I do need to step up my ring game that's something that I do care about is I like gold jewelry and I just want to have I don't want a lot I just want a couple of nice rings that I really, really like. I do like this one, but I just want something different than just like a skinny, skinny band. So I'm all about the gold, all about the gold. Always have been. Put on my watch every day. I got this watch five years ago. It is, actually some people have asked me what watch this is. It just says 
Cluse. Why am I having such a hard time focusing here? It says Cluse. I saw them on Instagram. Um, so far it has completely held up and I wear this watch all the time. I'm not really someone who spends like a lot of money on expensive jewelry. Though one day I might want to make a little bit more of an investment. So that is it for jewelry. Maybe I will put my double earrings in potentially. All right, now for getting dressed, I'm definitely trying to simplify my wardrobe. I give away so many clothes all the time. I still have way too many. The problem I'm having right now, the two problems I'm having, is that number one, I bigger than I was before. So my jeans don't fit me. So I got new jeans, but I don't want to get rid of the old ones because they're only one size difference. And I haven't exercised in two years because of the adrenal fatigue and I can only go on very slow walks. The thing is, is that once I start moving again, I will naturally drop into that old size. So that's why I'm not going to give away those clothes. I know some people say like, oh, don't hold on to, you know, old sizes and thinking one day I'm going to fit into that again. I think in my situation, because it's one size different and I'm not moving, I think naturally some of that weight will just start to fall off and then I will just fit to my old clothes. Anyways, so I have, these are from Zara. I don't know. I read on their website the other day that these were like 100%, maybe not 100%, but it said like pure cotton. Like, I don't know. It seemed like it was supposed to be good, but to be honest, I do need to do an overhaul with my clothing. I do actually want to start to buy non-toxic clothing but that is so overwhelming to me that i'm not going to deal with that right now and i'm going to continue with the clothes that i have until i sort that out but that's just something i have not stepped into before i used to think what was overwhelming was changing skincare and changing makeup to non-toxic things but now that i've slowly changed that i feel like that will be similar with the clothing but it's just not something i'm ready to tackle yet but if you have good brands you recommend please put them below the other thing that I've done that is very not helpful is, I'm just going to be honest here, I buy a lot of cheap clothes, very cheap clothes. I'm not going to say the brands because I don't want to bash any brands, but I buy very cheap clothes. I will say though that I did buy a couple of things from Zara the other day and that has been, depending on the piece, has been a lot better than some qualities of other places I purchased from. So these jeans actually feel very, very good quality. And then I got this sweater from Zara because I just, it actually does, I don't know how it's going to wash up, but it feels very nice quality. Very, very nice quality. I'm going to wear this top that I got from Oakenfort. My mom got it for me like three years ago. Actually, that's one of the brands that I really like is Oakenfort. I feel like if I were to encapsulate my entire style, I would say it would just be Oakenfort realistically. Um, do I buy all my, all my clothes there? No, I barely buy my clothes there because it's a little bit expensive for me. <laughs> I'm just used to like certain prices of clothing. But sadly, this top did not wash up well. Sadly, um, it's pilling a lot and it wasn't like the cheapest sweater. So that's a little bit disappointing. But um, yeah, I just like that kind of like minimal look. I've always actually liked neutral colors even before it was a thing to only like neutral colors. It was like 2013 that I just kind of switched everything to neutral colors, um, except for red. And it's been over 10 years and I've still been that way. So I don't know if I'm gonna change, but we'll see. All right, so here we have it. Here is the top. And I feel like getting tops or getting pieces, I guess, particularly tops that have different shapes make it a little bit more interesting so now what i've been trying to do when i buy things is i try to find something that is different so that it's just kind of more special and it just looks nicer it looks fancier rather than if this top had regular sleeves and it would just be a sweater but i like that it has like different sleeves like this and then you know pull them up also funny thing is is that the jeans that i showed earlier i realized i took out my old jeans that are my old size because they look so similar to these ones because i got new jeans that are in my right size and i tried to put on the old ones thinking they were the new ones and i was like 
what the heck, these do not fit me. What happened? And it was the old ones, I think. Praise the Lord. Anyways, so yes, these are the jeans. I will try to show the bottom of them. I don't have a full length mirror here. Okay, so these are, this is the outfit at, at full length. Usually I would put some sort of necklace on, but I'm not really a big fan of any of the necklaces that I have. I saw this really nice Christian jewelry brand the other day from uh, one of my friends who promoted them. And I was like, I really like that. I like that necklace. I like those pieces. So I'm considering reaching out to them and seeing if they want to do some sort of collaboration. That's generally what I would do for collaborations is I would reach out to a company I already use or I really want to work with because I would use a product primarily that are Christian. Anyways, if I don't have a necklace that I really like, I'm just gonna keep it as it is. I also feel like this sweater is more interesting because it kind of has like more of like a square neck, which again is just more interesting than if it was just to be round. Now, I cannot see. So I have contact lenses, but again, busy mom life. So I wear my glasses most of the time, unless I'm going to a special event. But again, another thing that I find with glasses is if you get really cool, like really cool glasses, then it just elevates the look. Once again, it's just easier to get ready. You put your glasses on and it just pulls a look together. And so instead of just having like very plain, simple glasses, unless you like that, I know these look plain, but just because of like the size of them and I just feel like it just pulls more of a look together. So I'm a fan of that. Now, when it comes to hair, I, naturally have very wavy, a lot of very wavy, puffy, frizzy hair. So either I will do the curly girl, cur wavy girl hair routine, or I use this tool and I don't recommend everybody to use it because not everybody needs it and not everybody needs to spend this amount of money on a hair tool. I have chosen to do this because I genuinely think that it helps me a lot. I got this for my 30th birthday slash for when I first launched Now Bloom Academy and obviously it is the Dyson Airwrap and I think if you are someone who can come out of the shower and your hair will just dry straight you know whatever it is you just have easy hair I don't think everyone needs this. If you have a lot of hair very thick hair hair that's like very hard to manage hair that you cannot leave the house if you didn't do something to it, then I would recommend this for time's sake because I can blow dry and style my hair in one and that is really worth it to me. Now, actually my hair was not Dysoned um, with this. I actually straightened it the other day, but normally I use the Dyson every time and I just use that really thick barrel and it's a curler, but once, it, once your hair kind of like falls down, it makes it look like a blowout and then I don't need to wash my hair for at least a week when I do that. And so then my hair can always look done. And unfortunately this is not a good example right now because it's straightened, but the ends will be like all like beveled in. And then it just looks like I always have a blowout and it always looks like I, you know, did my hair every day when I never do my hair every day. Um, so at nighttime I sleep with like my hair, I wrap it up in a bun, I'm good to go. Unfortunately, I don't know how to braid, um, like do like a French braid at least. I kind of learned like four years ago and then I lost it again. Must learn for when I have a daughter. But um, I didn't grow up like having my hair braided and things like that. I think I needed to. I think that my hair was the type of hair that I need to know how to do braids. Um, like boxer braids, French braids, things like that. Because that's a very cool and easy mom look. So that's what I have to say about, about my hair. This is not a hair routine video, but this is a get ready with me video. Now, when it comes to shoes, obviously it just depends on the mood. I basically have one sneaker. I got these in, they're so dirty, they need to be cleaned. I got these for like less than $70 from Topshop in 2018. And there's like, if you have white sneakers, there's, you can wash them yourself, but um, there's this place that it's really cheap. I think it's seven bucks per pair of sneaker that they completely clean them for you. So Adam and I will drop off our white sneakers there. Okay, I have a lot of pairs of shoes, but I'm trying to minimize them because realistically, I just wear these for sneakers. So yes, they're very dirty. 
when I went to the UK, when I went on a three week trip, I wore these on the airplane and I did not pack any shoes. So these are my shoe for every single outfit. So I feel like if you find a shoe that goes with every single outfit, perfect. I do want to get new balance shoes, but the reality is, is that I don't need them right now. Or I will wear a shoe like this, which is like the smallest heel in the world. And I thrifted these for like $17 and I really cleaned them out. And these are like my favorite pair of black boots ever. So I knew what I was looking for. I wanted a shoe exactly like this. I went to Value Village and I found it. Sad story is that I only found one of the shoes. So I only have one. No, I'm just kidding. But I only found one of the shoes at the time and I couldn't find the other one. And I had Adam go on a hunt with me through the whole store to find the missing shoe. And it was like on the second floor with the books or something. So I looked hard because I was like, I need these. I need to have a good deal. And then we're gonna look at a coat because it is a nice fall day. So there's definitely a Zara theme here. I got this coat from Zara in I think 2018. And this again, I just feel like you have a coat that's like your go-to coat. I really need a full length mirror for this. And it just kind of hangs like loose. It's quite long. It has like a string that comes with it, but basically like, you know who I saw wearing this coat? My business partner, Natasha from Covered by Grace. We were working a job together and she showed up wearing this jacket and I was like, I need to have this coat. So again, this is from, this is 19, 22, 23, 24. Oh, 24. I think it's like six years old, this coat. So I will either go with something like this. And then again, you can either wear either. Pretty much what I'm trying to say here is I'm trying to find items that will go with, with any outfit combo that I've put together. I want either one of my shoes to be able to go with this outfit. I want either one of my coats to be able to go with this outfit. So then the other thing that I have, it, the other choice would be between one other coat, but I think that I'm going to wear this coat. But if I was going to wear my white sneakers and I wanted to just make it more casual, here is a Zara theme this jacket that I have from Zara, which is a few years old. This is like a little puffer jacket. So I would probably just wear something like this and wear it with my white sneakers. But I think we're gonna go with the black jacket. And because I'm a mom, I don't really wear a purse anymore, though you can wear a purse if you're a mom. I wear it depending on if I'm going out with Gabriel or not, but somebody gifted me this diaper. Well, first of all, I have so many nice diaper bags. I have this like big leather black diaper bag with gold buckles on it that my friend got me from my baby shower. And then somebody also just recently gifted me this uh, purse that looks like a Lululemon bag, but it's big enough to fit a fit, you know, your diaper stuff in it. And so I'll just wear that and it's black and it looks cool. And that's that. All right, so let's put it on all together here. The thrifted mystery shoes. The Zara coat. And now you can see the shoes. Now, like I said, I generally don't wear a purse anymore, but if I were to wear a purse, I have two cute purses. One of them is from Amazon for $20. One of them is from Indigo, $40, something like that. One of these purses is very old, but again, I think it's cute. So this is like the $20 Amazon purse that I wear sometimes. I wore it to a wedding. And this is the purse literally from Indigo. I'll put it over. This is not the best angle, but you get the picture. All right, so you can kind of see the shoes better here and the whole look. So here we have the purse, the shoes, the jeans. So there you have it. My, I think first get ready with me video. I do not get ready every day. Where am I going right now with how I'm looking? Nowhere. I'm gonna take off my jacket, I'm gonna take off my shoes. So I'm not going out until this evening. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually sit down and now I'm going to film a sit down video. So you might recognize the same outfit of this top that I'll be wearing. 
to the same look. If you do notice it, make sure you comment and say, hey, I noticed that look from the Get Ready With Me video. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, this is not the usual type of content that I do, but I have had this requested a few times to do a Get Ready With Me. And I do like makeup, I do like hair, I do like clothes. I'm not gonna pretend that I don't. So though this is not the content I generally push, I do hope that something in here, okay, let me just say this. You don't need anything new. You don't need to go out and now buy things, buy clothes, buy anything like that. What I highly suggest to do instead is to go on Pinterest, find the type of clothes that you like and just collect, like look at different outfit samples, go to your closet and see how you can recreate those looks. Truthfully, it doesn't come naturally to for me to pair things together. I go on Pinterest and I look at like 10 basic wardrobe pieces for fall and I look at how they match them with different things and then I look in my closet and see what I already have. So you don't need to go out and get a whole new wardrobe or go out and get all the jewelry, makeup, anything like that. It's a slow process. Like I said, I don't like have any necklaces that I like. I don't need to run out and get a necklace right now. Eventually I will have a necklace that is very good quality that I like. Eventually my skincare will all be, or sorry, my makeup will all be moved over to a non-toxic, non-hormone disrupting brand. Currently it is not fully. Um, and eventually I will hopefully have more of a capsule wardrobe that one day is non-toxic clothing. <laughs> but until that day, I am going to try my best to get inspiration from Pinterest and things like that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. If you're new here, my name is Sarah. I'm a Christian life coach and content creator, and I do courses online, Nabloom Academy. There's a Complete in Christ program run by Coach Misha. And so that is all for today. Um, if you guys have any specific questions or you want me to make a similar video covering something else, just let me know and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.